Atari 307, Emery Dean, and this which is the Imaginex DC Super Friends Heroes vs. Villain set. So this set is really cool. Uh, and down here the box, I love this. We got Batman, Superman, and Werewolf. They're doing this on some of the new boxes now, and it really feels like Imaginex is focusing on the wider DC, not just Batman. Even though there's a bit of Batman in this set, it is nice to see a focus on a lot of these characters. And we've seen similar things with Series 1 coming back, as well as the new Hall of Justice from last year. There's the UPC for anyone looking for this. I found this at Target in the United States. My Target had like 10 of these, so I don't think this is going to be hard to find at all, which is very comforting to hear. And then on the back, we have all the characters listed. And this does confirm this character is Brainiac. I know there was some discussion. I mean, we were all pretty certain he was Brainiac, but... You know, it's finally 100% on the box confirmed. And as you can see, it looks really cool. Uh, we don't get too much going on other than that. Uh, but yeah, I just want to like admire this box again. And uh, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a Hall of Justice back there too. So pretty cool. Now here we have them all out of the box. And as you can see, they all look amazing. We got the Bat Cycle there, which I really love that you get a vehicle with this. This thing is like $23. And don't get me wrong, like six figures is amazing, especially considering like the uh, variants on these. But including the motorcycle too, that's, that's pretty cool. And we've seen this one before. This is the Burnside of Batgirl motorcycle cycle but it's painted differently this time we never had it in this color and i gotta say this might be my favorite color for this one and uh i really love this, this is, it has the emblem missile and you push down and then you press the red button and then uh boom no more riddler and i just now realized that my camera was out of focus when i filmed this i do the audio afterwards so Okay, that's not cool, but here we have Batman on the motorcycle. Something that's really cool about this particular Batman is he's actually painted to match the motorcycle. They've done this a few times, but I think this is the best time they've ever done it. Like, Batman himself is kind of like in this almost silver, almost chrome, and it looks really good. Like, again, you know, we get too many Batmans in this line, but if you're going to give us Batmans, give us Batmans like this. Give us unique ones. I love that yellow emblem. I love the belt there. And then again, the blue and silver chrome, it's kind of hard to see on camera. You'll see it more in person, but it's shiny. And also, too, if you look at the eyes, they have shading on them, and I really like that. They did that on last year's Batman that came with the Flash uh, for the Flash movie and I really hope they continue to do that on some of the Batmans like with the little shading there it's just a really nice detail and it's really unique and again if we're going to get Batmans again give us unique Batmans now, moving on to Riddler, um, he comes with his cane, which is pretty cool, but this is essentially the exact same Riddler we've seen time and time again. I don't really think that that's a bad thing. Like, you know, Riddler, he's a great character. I'm sure like, people would like to get him, and you gotta remember, like, new people join this line every day, so that's cool that he's uh, readily available, but pretty much the same. Superman's the same way. That's the same Superman we've been getting since, like, 2016. One thing I will say that's a little bit different about this one is, uh, and it's nice, his belt's painted. Um, he has the classic Superman emblem on his chest. They've only released a few of these with the classic Superman emblem, it's not super rare, but it's not something they release a lot. Typically, they released uh, the one on the left over here, which has like the Imaginex version of the emblem. So it is really cool that this one, even though even though like you know it is the same Superman, it's cool that they chose to release it with that classic emblem there. Uh, just since that one's always been a little bit harder to get, so I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I like that they include it in this set since again it's slightly more rare. Um, and I like that Superman's here, even if it is an older Superman, it is always nice to get Superman characters in the collection. And you know Superman, he's like such a big DC character, and I don't feel like he's ever utilized enough. So again, it's nice. We're getting that. Now, moving on to my absolute favorite thing about this, the Silver Brainiac. I have been wanting a Silver Brainiac for so long. Now, this does reuse a cyborg body, which I think really looks good on some sides, like this side, but then, like, on the other side, which is, like, his hair doesn't look all right. But he's also got this really cool pink and purple and green that's mixed all around him. So it's not just, a like, an all chrome Terminator. It is pretty cool, though, but I just love that they did Silver Brainiac. And I have been wanting a Silver Brainiac for Imaginex for years. And you know, something that's really cool is, like, all the Brainiacs Imaginex made, I don't own all of them, but they're all different. They all always use a different sculpt and a different paint job. And again, like I don't own every single one, but it is weird to me that they all do that. And again, I think, you know, I almost think the cyborg body is perfect for this. Just paint it all silver. It just looks good. Now here's a comparison of um, the event calendar Brainiac. As you can see, big difference there. Uh, and this is the real reason I've really wanted the silver one. Uh, McFarlane's made a superpowers Brainiac ship. And while it works good with Imaginex and the green one, it definitely looks so much better with the silver Brainiac or almost gray Brainiac. It's not completely silver, but it's really nice Brainiac. And I really like that they made this. And I can't believe they did too, because like, you know, silver Brainiac is so outdated. Now moving down here, we have Nightwing. And again, long hair Nightwing, just like silver Brainiac. I can't believe they did this because they didn't have to. They could have put any old Nightwing in this, but they chose to do a long hair Nightwing. And this might be my favorite Nightwing. Now the head here is actually the Aquaman head, but it's done so well, you really can't tell it. I also love the bright blue on his arms and his little emblem there. Very nice. And again, uh, he comes with his bow staff, but this might wind up being my favorite night. I think it's really cool because it's not a variant that they had to make at all. And it really shows you like things are kind of like slowly getting before the bat tech, like, you know, how things used to be. And I really 
like that. And um, yeah, he just looks great. And I think, like I said, I think this might wind up being my favorite Nightwing. And if you're a big Nightwing fan, I do highly recommend uh, this version right here. Now here's some comparison with the bat tech and the shorter hair. As you can see, uh, you know, I like the shorter hair Nightwing. That's my personal preference for Nightwing, but, and the comic says, but for this one, I think, you know, we've just had so many of those. I kind of prefer this long haired one. And then here's our Aquaman, and you can't even tell this is the same head. Like you kind of can when you look at them side by side, but I think it just really shows you like how paint can work. And then we have Deathstroke. So this is so cool. This is classic 80s death stroke right here you got the dark or kind of like darkish blue the light blue on the chest and the scales look so good and then that bright orange and his black and silver sword like this thing is so cool when i saw this i, I honestly thought this was fan made i really did and then i saw smith's post and i was like oh my goodness this is real but it just looks so good and like that blue on the chain mail oh man like it really makes this pop like even though silver brainiac is my favorite thing about this set i'm not gonna lie like death stroke in this design is just so good here. And I really think this set is truly uh, remarkable because it goes like so hard. And then here's comparison with the old Deathstroke. And don't get me wrong, I think the old one has really good colors, but seeing like these classic colors, you know, it's so cool. And Deathstroke has been a hard character to get in the Magic X line for years. So, you know, this idea of them making him more readily easy to get is pretty cool too. Yeah, but varianting him to look even cooler, I love it. And I, I love this set overall. I think it's great. You get Batman, the Bat Cycle, Riddler, Nightwing, Deathstroke, Superman, Brainiac. If I was a kid, I would absolutely love this set. I still love this set. I am not a kid, but I think it looks great. And the classic costumes, this is really one of the best things I think Imaginex has done in a long time. This set is really incredible, and I love it. Thank you guys for watching, and please rate, like, and subscribe.